Um, besides the open market operations, the other two uh, things that the central bank can do, uh, they don't actually do this so much, um, but they can they can change the reserve requirements, right? They can use reserve requirements to change this. So, um, like for example, if they if they raise the reserve requirement uh, from let's say 10% to maybe 12% now. Now the banks must keep more reserves and therefore they have to cut back on lending, right? And of course, uh, so then less lending will lead us to higher interest rates and less lending will also lead to less deposits, um, which would be a lower money supply. Okay, so this is another way to do it. Um, then you can see, well, if they wanted to increase, uh, if, they, if they wanted to go the opposite direction from this, then they could um, they could lower reserves, so they could lower the required reserve ratio, sorry, which would then um, decrease. So they, they're going to do, this is going to, sorry, the, they could lower the required reserve ratio, which will increase lending, right? So raising it, decrease the lending, so the increased lending and increasing lending is going to um, decrease interest rates and and it's going to increase deposits. So this is another choice they could do. Um, they don't normally do this. Uh, in fact, they, they make tiny changes in this, but they don't use this as their main policy. And the main reason is this is considered disruptive to the banks. So you can imagine if you're a bank manager um, and they every few months the Fed was changing your reserve requirement, well then you'd have to make huge changes to your operation um, because you know, let's suppose they move this up by half percent or one percent. Well, one percent of your total loans would be a very large amount of money and um, you would then have to figure out how to cover this. So then banks would, um, they would likely start to have to start planning for this and it could be, it could just be quite disruptive for their business. To, to have to make these big changes in their portfolios every time the Fed makes it makes a change in their policy. So this is considered disruptive to the banks. So therefore it's not it's not used much. Um, um, the third thing that they could do is they could uh, they could change the discount rate. So remember the discount rate is the rate on so this is this is loan, loans uh, directly from the Fed. So then, if they could make, if they make it a, a lower rate, right? So this is different. Uh, the the previous one about open market operations, these were done. Um, it was being influenced through these indirect uh, operations of putting reserves into the banks or taking reserves out of the banks. Uh, the discount rate is actually loans directly from the Fed. So in this case, the, the, the Fed can directly control this right. So it's this rate it's because they decide it. So they lower the discount rate and then the banks uh, borrow more because it's cheaper, right? And they, they gain reserves. And you know the rest of the story now. They, borrow, they gain reserves, so they do more loans, right? When they get more reserves, they do more loans. They do more loans, then... This is going to increase the money supply and decrease the interest. And then the other the other thing would also be true if they raise the discount rate, right? Banks borrow less, then they're going to have less reserves because they're not borrowing as much, uh, you know, compared to what they would have at a, at a lower uh, interest rate. And so they do uh, less loans, and less loans leads to lower money supply and a higher interest. Okay, so this is another policy they could do. Um, typically, this is not the most important policy of the Fed. Uh, these discount loans are typically saved for banks that are in trouble in, in some way, um, and they haven't in the past, at least, they haven't been used as their main policy for putting reserves into the banks. The main policy to put reserves in the banks or to take them out of the banks is, is the open market operations that were discussed in the, in the previous video. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, there'll be one more video that's not by me uh, that can kind of summarize all of this.